All right, let's go to <clears throat> display three today. I hope the microphone's on. I would hate to do this whole video without the microphone. Um, by the way, I I don't know if you ever looked at my LinkedIn profile, but I am a distinguished architect for the fine institution of Zoom. And I have to say, it is by far the coolest title <laughs> at, at Zoom. I've I've literally told Eric, our CEO, I'm like, I have a cooler title than you. It's distinguished architect. I always feel like I should be wearing some sort of like tweed jacket or or uh, be smoking some sort of pipe with like a leather leather bound volumes of books in the background with this dark walnut uh, shelves. <laughs> I just wearing a purple t shirt today. That's all you get. But I'm distinguished. Right there, we go. It's the cool. I could never actually take another job at Zoom because I I don't know if I could ever give up the title. Today, today I took over Amy's Zoom account. Today she's not she's not here. She's on the she's on the beach. I think with her family. Uh, I don't know who Amy is. She's some fictitious person in our Zoom and your account. <laughs> so, but I always take over her account so I could show you stuff. The reason I have to take over her account to show you stuff is. My Zoom account has a lot of stuff that's not out there yet. So I can't show you the cool stuff that we're working on because probably somebody would yell at me. And I don't want that. As I, I, I want to keep my job as a distinguished architect. So I'm using Amy's account, which is all the stuff that you have in your, in your Zoom uh, tenant as well, uh, including the vanishing pen. I showed you this last week, but I love doing it. Like, look at that 1974 shovel head right there. Uh huh. This is a Harley Davidson crossbones I built. This is another shovel head. Hey, that's that's me making a fender for this bike. I think I don't know. That's another shovel head. Another one. Another one. Have you get the theme that I like shovel heads? I do. <laughs> All right. Let's get to what I was talking about yesterday. Was that hey? I showed you how to invite. A, uh, let me take annotation off. How to invite a um, a Zoom room to a Microsoft Teams meeting. The reverse is also true. And more importantly, more people do it this way, is how do I invite a, a Teams room to a Zoom meeting, right? So you do it in Outlook, right? Or you can do it in Zoom. Or you can do it in Teams. You can do it anywhere you want. That's the cool cool thing about it is that Today, I would guess most of our enterprise customers use Outlook to schedule meetings. There's multiple ways to skin the cat. This is just one of them. So if I want to schedule a meeting in Outlook, a Zoom meeting in Outlook, I just use the Zoom plugin. Right here it is, right? The Zoom plugin. Schedule a meeting. I'm going to move this out of here. I go to my calendar. I can see that, hey, there's a 12 to, to 1 o'clock slot there. Let's schedule a meeting. It's really that simple <laughs> right and now for the zoom meeting i could pick all these advanced functionalities i could pick passcodes i could pick waiting rooms i could pick do i want to allow my host uh telephone uh, versus computer audio versus both i can do a whole bunch of old super cool stuff if i really want to i don't have to i could literally have accepted all the defaults um, but i can do all these advanced functionalities i hit save boom now i've created a zoom meeting but how do I invite the Microsoft Teams room to it? Well, if you have Active Directory set up like you should and have all your conferencing rooms in your, in your exchange calendaring system with all the free busy information, you can just go to find a room. Find a room. Well, look at this. Look at my tenant. It has a whole bunch of rooms on here. I have a Microsoft Collab Bar. I have a Microsoft Teams room. I have a Zoom room. I can invite any of these rooms to my meeting Obviously, in this example, I want to invite the Microsoft Teams room. The Microsoft Teams room can fit 10 people. It is in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's dismiss this. And now look at this. This room is a Microsoft Teams room and is equipped to, have to support Teams and Zoom meetings. Huh, look at that. I've literally invited uh, a Microsoft Teams room to a Zoom room. That's as complicated as it is. It's now going to send this and I'm done. That's it. Like, that's it. That, that, I'm, ta I'm serious. That's as frictionless as it gets. I now have a Zoom meeting in my Outlook calendar inviting a Microsoft Teams room to the meeting. Then I could start my Zoom meeting from any client, mobile or desktop, and then Susie and HR or maybe Amy Martin will walk into the Microsoft Teams room in building two 
that sits 10 people. And I could look at that. Microsoft Teams room accepted my meeting. And I can join the Zoom meeting one touch dial from the Microsoft Teams room. I showed you that in another demo. Like, this doesn't get any easier, folks. There's no excuse now. You can invite anybody to anything at any time. It's that simple. 